You're watching the South Texas News Leader. This is 3 News First Edition. Welcome back. Good morning. I am Barbie Leo. And I'm John Thomas Cobos. Before we send it over to you, Mariah, we do have an update from TxDOT regarding the closure out there on SPID. The westbound SPID main lanes are closed from Paul Jones to Castores. The eastbound SPID entrance ramps closed in the same area. And then crews will be out there spreading ice uh, rock, ice rock on the main lanes in both directions. Access is open to and from Flower Bluff Island and the JFK is open if you have to head out. That's the latest from TxDOT. Perfect, but if you are heading out, definitely take caution and be careful on those roads. Again, we are seeing some light ice accumulation. We were just outside checking on the cars, and although some of the windshields had kind of melted, that ice had kind of melted, some of them still do have some of that ice on there. So we're going to continue to keep track on that in your roads this morning. For now, waking up, upper 20s is our air temp, but it feels like 14 degrees when you factor in these breezy north winds between 15 and 25 miles an hour. And these are the temperatures all across the coastal bend area. Everyone hitting those freezing temperatures this morning. Naval Air Station just a little bit warmer than everyone else at 32 right at our freezing level. Wind speeds otherwise, this is the culprit of our wind chills this morning and those really cold feel like temperatures. We've got wind speeds between 15 and 30 miles an hour. We've got those northwesterly winds helping bring in that cool and dry air. And as more of that dry air filters into the coastal bend, more of this moisture is going to be exiting your wind chills all across the coastal bend. The warmest is Hebronville at 20 degrees, but everyone else in those teens. Here's a look at our radar and satellite from the last six hours. We were seeing some of that bulk of that wintry precipitation move around the Kingsville Falfurious area coming from Brooks County, just skipping a slightly Corpus Christi. We did have a few reports overnight for sleet in Portland. Now here's what's happening over the last few hours and minutes. Really, this is that sleep you'll notice I was trying to see if I could pause that but you see that sleet and that uh, wintry precipitation possibly freezing rain that was passing over that's that freezing rain that we just had on those roads causing those road closures now we're going to start to see our temperatures slowly inch on up here through our morning hours but really we're going to stay at freezing until about 9 to 10 a.m. we do still have a wind chill advisory going into effect until noontime we've got a gale warning still in effect and a freeze warning still in effect for our morning hours today. So definitely take that into consideration. If you have to head out the door, keep this in mind. It is very cold out there, especially for us South Texans, not normally used to this kind of cold weather, especially these breezy north winds. This is going to make it feel a lot colder throughout your day. You'll notice we still got that chance for freezing rain and wintry precipitation until 7 a.m. OK, so be careful heading out the roads. We'll top out in those upper 30s, low 40s. The sun's going to start to come on out in your afternoon to evening hours, but it won't do too much for our temps. John Thomas Barbie.